Hey guys, this is Dr. Polly. Uh, we're going to do exercise one. And if we look at exercise one, which I'll bring it over here real quick, you'll notice that uh, it's basically just a base uh, with a hole in it. And then we're going to have two extrusions um, on the left and right. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and put tapped holes into them. Um, this is the front view, top view, right side. Uh, the easiest way to draw it would be from the top view because I can get the base done right here. The width is 6.5, the depth is 5, so it's 6.5 five by 5. I'm going to extrude it up 0.375 to get this base. Uh, I'll include the hole in it, and then we're going to create these shapes here and extrude them up 2.5. So that's the basis of what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and start with a sketch. Uh, top plane. And let's go ahead and do, let's do a center rectangle. Let's go ahead and dimension that to be uh, 6.5 by 5. So we finished that. It's fully defined. Uh, let's go ahead and put that circle in. Uh, you'll notice that they don't have any um, location dimensions for this circle, so it's assumed to be centered. Um, so let's take a standard circle. Let's go ahead and dimension that to be 1.5 and we'll finish and now I'm going to go to with the sketch highlighted I'm going to go to features and say extrude base and it's 0.375 thick and now I'm going to say I'm going to extrude on the top surface and I'm going to create two rectangles one in this corner and one in this corner now I don't want to do a lot of dimensioning that I don't have to so I'll click this line hold control and click this line and I'm going to make them collinear. And what that says is that both lines, you can see this little uh, relation here, is that both of these lines are set on the same line. So if I move one, the other one will move as well. All right, so let's put some dimensioning on here. If they're two inches by two inches, notice that it went ahead and moved this one down with it. Um, here, this is two inches. This is also two inches this way. All right, and it has a one inch fillet right here, radius of one inch. So we'll go ahead and put a fillet one inch on this corner and this corner, and I'm going to finish it. And we'll go ahead and finish our sketch. Uh, the distance I'm going to extrude those is 2.5, and there we go. Now, uh, the next thing we need to do is put in our uh, tapped holes, and they're a half inch 20 um, ANSI thread or ANSI threads. So it's a half inch uh, nominal diameter, 20 threads per inch ANSI threads. Okay, and it says use the default settings for that. So we'll just go ahead and do that. So I'm going to use Hole Wizard. Uh, it's going to be a tapped hole. Uh, it's going to be a standard tapped hole ANSI inch. Uh, size is one half 20. In condition will be blind, which is the default settings. Make sure that there is a uh, near side countersink is not selected. Um, that kind of gets annoying sometimes, it, uh, sneaks in there. And then I'm going to do position um, on the position tab. I'm going to pick the plane that I want these uh, holes to appear on, which is the top of this. Um, I'm going to hover over that and because they share the same center if I hover over this arc that center point will pop up and I can snap to it and we're done so I'm going to finish and there is the completed part